Welcome to this video. So my name is Taylor Benchud and today is a different video. I'm gonna be talking about a weird trend that I noticed on three clients who launched products in highly competitive categories and still got their products to page one. Now, I'm very fortunate for the last two years, I've been working with a lot of seven and eight figure sellers, so I see a lot of data. I get to see a lot of people use different strategies. Um, and this is one that's, I don't even think are, are the clients that, that successfully launched these products and got to page one in these highly com competitive categories even know the reason why they were able to do it. But since I've seen it now across three accounts happen, um, I, I've started to notice what it is. So let's talk about why, how they were able to do it, why I think they were able to do it. So example, um, they took products, and this is in one, the supplements category, two, this is the, in the fashion category, and three was the outdoors category. And I can't obviously say the products themselves, but I can tell you the categories that these products were in. So the only differentiator was the fact that their price was about two to three times greater than everybody else's on the market. That was the one trend that I noticed between all three of these successful launches. Now, I don't recommend you go out and launch and, and raise your price two to three times. I, I think this was successful for them because they, they they're, they're, one, they do good listings. Their listings, however, weren't any better than the rest of the competitors on page one. Again, we're talking about ultra competitive, like, like, like testosterone booster is a pretty competitive product. Like imagine going in and getting to page one on testosterone booster, that keyword, okay? I mean, you can't really make a much better listing than everybody else is. You can try to differentiate yourself, but it's not gonna be a hundred times better, okay? And your product, it's gonna be likely the same unless there's some unique, amazing formula that, that was on Dr. Oz or Oprah Winfrey. I'm talking about regular products. These were regular products that they launched and there was really, their listings were good. Um, their titles, you know, obviously these are seven and eight figure sellers. They know what they're doing, but the only differentiator was their price. That was the only differentiator between the products. Now, why would that have a big impact? I'm not sure, but I do know that if you've read Influence by Robert Cialdini, one of the, 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 the like uh, manipulative tools of basically, um, uh, in, in selling products is price, right? So like it has, a, it has a bias on the mind where we perceive a high price to be a high value. And there's a story that he talks about in the book where there's a guy who's selling jewelry and the jewelry store is basically going out of business. And it wasn't like diamonds or anything like that. It was just handmade jewelry, I guess you could say. And he was discounting his prices to try to incentivize people to buy more. And he was going, he went on a vacation. He told the manager of the store, hey, I'm gonna go on vacation for a week. You know, lower the prices 50%. Let's see if we can clear out the stock. And she thought that he said like double the prices. And so she doubled the prices, like there was no discounts and all of a sudden they cleared the stock and they basically sold out of inventory. And he came back and he was like, you know, that's amazing, we sold out of stock. And she was like, yeah. And then he found out that they sold out of stock at double the price. And so the, the psychology behind it is that, that people perceive a high price to bring high value. Now, I don't think this will work if you're selling tape or if you're selling glue. You know, in the fashion industry, you have Louis Vuitton and they're able to get away with selling purses for two to $3,000 when it only costs them two to $300 to make it. I don't know what the costs are to make it, but it's not two to $3,000. And you know, when you're selling commodities, it's you can't do this because it's a commodity. Everybody knows there's a certain price to milk. Everybody knows that there's a certain price to grain. But when you're selling kind of unique stuff like a hammock, that's the one that came to my mind, you might think that's a commodity, but it's really not. A hammock is just a product and people could associate a hammock that's at two, $300 when everybody else is selling a hammock for $100, but yours is 300 and there's really no difference but people perceive it to be of higher value than everybody else's. So it's a very unique thing that I saw and I just wanted to share it with you to see if you maybe saw this or heard of this or you firsthand experienced it. Um, and it's something I've seen now happen three times in highly competitive categories. Uh, I've seen it happen other times in lower competitive categories with clients, but it never really struck out to me. And I think part of the reason why it's also really successful is because when you have a 70 to 80% margin, you can spend so much money on ads. Like we were spending, I, I, I couldn't spend enough money because with these clients, it, like, it was so successful. You know, the ads ended up being really profitable because it was, you know, 40, 50% ACoS, which for most people is unprofitable, but for them, it was still really profitable. So we were able to just do rapid fire testing on the keyword research in the PPC because we're sitting on 74% margins or 78% margins. Um, you know, it, and it, it's ridiculous. So I don't recommend you go out and raise your price two to three times on existing products. I think this is a kind of product sensitive strategy. And I also think that um, it part in part works well because they did it from launch. If you just took a product that's been selling for two years, raised the price triple, 
you know, I think that would really hurt your rank. But if you if you kept it at that certain price throughout the time that it was launched, I think, you know, that 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 Amazon recognizes that and they see, okay, they're not, you know, just raising the price out of nowhere. They've been, you know, at this triple price mark for since the beginning they launched. So um, let me know your thoughts on this and uh, let me know if you've ever seen anything like this. I thought it was very unique and I kind of wanted to just share it with everybody because I, I've never seen anything like it. And every time I've seen, uh, every time I've seen it, I'm like, this is insane. I can't believe this is actually working. So uh, let me know your thoughts on this video. Hopefully you liked it and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Ciao.